Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you a tutorial for browser stack that's especially for beginners. Now, this video will have everything you need if you wish to get started with browser stack. So without further ado, let's dive right into their website. So here we have the browser stack dashboard. Now, before you can head here, you can sign up for browser stack by heading to their website. So just type in browserstack.com right there. And then we hit enter, then we should be able to see this landing page right here, or we can get started with a free account, or we can get a demo as well. That's personalized from browser stack. So again, just create an account here. Uh, and once you've done that, log in with your credentials and you will be able to see this dashboard right here. So Browser Stack is a cloud-based platform for testing websites and mobile applications across different browsers, devices, and operating systems. It's popular because it eliminates the need to maintain a local testing environment. Now, as you can see here, we can test our websites or web apps with Live Automate and this new feature, I believe, which is Percy, an automated visual testing and review. Same goes with app. Uh, with mobile apps, we have App Live and App Automate. So starting with Live and Automate on our uh, website, uh, Live offers a manual cross-browser testing on real browsers, and then Automate is for running selenium tests on the cloud and then for app live this is for testing mobile apps manually on real devices and then app automate is for automated testing of mobile apps so let's try to check our manual testing right here let's just click on live so for whom are you evaluating live so right now uh, i'm just going to do it for myself but if you have a team with you then of course, you can select this. If you're unsure, you can always choose, I don't know. So here, just going to let this load up. And then as you can see, let us help you run your first test. You can select a browser or device and you can either choose Mac OS or iPhone 13, depending on your preference and then your website URL right here. I'm testing a local or privately hosted website. So right there, we let's select Mac OS and then let's go. Now it's uh, launching that OS. So we're being presented with a real instance of the browser on the chosen operating system. This will help us or this will stimulate how our website or web app performs on that platform. So here, just follow the instructions on the style to get started with local testing. You can download the local desktop app. So yeah, you can just do that. And then installing the browser stack local.msi will auto launch the local app on completion. So here, just waiting for installation. So we're gonna try to follow this process just to show you how it works. And then have it set up. All right, so now that it's set up, you can see that it auto launches. So now it's gonna relaunch the web app. Local testing is now enabled to test with your local privately hosted websites and lower environments. Enter your URL in the address bar of the browser to get started. So here, just enter our website URL in the address bar and interact with your site in real time. There, as you can see, you can interact with it. But of course, since we're using a free trial, then uh, it has a limited access. So each device is available for up to one minute during free trial. So if you wish to uh, get a full grasp of the demo, then uh, you can buy a plan for a browser stack, but basically you saw how it works and you saw how immersive it was. 
they actually have these uh, customizations as well iOS, Android, Windows, all the versions right here, XP as well, and then Mac, right? So we have here the latest Chrome version, there's, there's Opera, Edge, Firefox, and Safari. So let's try to check some of their tools. This is pop up right here. So just some release notes on live. All right. So here we can actually switch from web to mobile app. There's a bug capture, accessibility testing, and then automate for test automation, automate turbo scale, accessibility automation, Percy, low code automation, test management, and test observability. Now for app, we have the app live, app accessibility setting, testing rather. App Automate, App Percy, Test Management, and Test Observability. So let's try to check App Live real quick. Get started with App Live. So here we can get a demo or just directly head to our dashboard. Just click here if you want to watch the short demo just to get more info on App Live. So now we're going to head to our dashboard. Let this load up. Learn more about the product here. All right, so you can see we have real devices here. Select a real device hosted in one of our 19 data centers. So we have from Google, Samsung, OnePlus, Oppo, Xiaomi, Vivo, Motorola, Huawei, and Realme. So maybe let's try the Pixel 6 Pro right here. So date device selected, Pixel 6 Pro. Connecting to real device cloud right there. So it's starting the stimulation or simulation rather. Experience the power of the device for up to 10 minutes, after which the session will automatically close. All right. So for this free trial, we have 10 minutes to interact with the real device. All right. So this is the serial number, purchase date, and device location. All right, so I believe we can interact with it right now. Yes. So this is the Wikipedia search bar. Let's try to search about something. Just random stuff. So you have here the search results. All right, we can actually customize a lot of stuff here, even the toolbar. All right, so we have the search results over here. Let's try if it works like that. Oh, I see. So it's as if we're actually touching the screen, of course, like a touchpad. So maybe we can try heading to the menu. There we go. Fully interactable. Right, so we can access all the apps. All right, so here we have a toolbar. We can stop the session. Now under settings, idle session timeout. Then we can report a bug. So here we can share the bug or the report via Jira software, GitHub, Trello, and Slack, which is very useful, of course. And then there's some dev tools. You can record the session local testing, and then we can switch device from here. Let's see, view open apps. Oh, they, these actually serve as a shortcut button to the functions of the device. All right, and that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.